Hello, my beautiful people. Before I start, as usual, these are all my thoughts and opinions based on public information out there. Please do your own research, and this is absolutely for entertainment purposes only. You know, it's been bothering me for quite some time. Why Mr. Markle reached out to a UK newspaper to publish parts of his of Mega Markle's letter when it was People Magazine, a US um, ma a US based magazine, who published the article in the first place. It didn't make any sense to me at all. This is, you know what I mean. This is like blaming Peter for what Paul did and using a completely different outlet for that. So I reached out to a friend of mine who is a lawyer in California, um, Beverly Hills specifically, and he deals with privacy laws and, and all kinds of things, libel and stuff like that. And I, and I told him about the situation, and then he researched it a little, and then he said the following to me. He kind of explained it, okay? He said, um, it really does not make sense because, first of all, the, the most correct thing for Mr. Markle to have done is to go to the police station because it is a felony crime in the United States, a federal crime, to, to disclose the contents of private letters without authorization. The only people who can do it is the person who sent it or the person who received it. And here we, here we have contents of both letters, not only Megan's, but also a very specific part of Mr. Markle's, Thomas Markle's letter, where he says that we should do a photo op so people can see us, you know, that we're doing okay. I believe that when he wrote that, he was trying to tell his daughter, you know what? He was trying to help her to say, listen, if we show the world that we're okay, you won't be trashed as much. But of course, she put it as something bad, as though he was, that meant that he was trying to take advantage of her, which of course is bullshit. But going back to the case, he said, here you have two things. One, uh, two private letters, the contents of two private letters ended up in a very public article in People Magazine. Now, the only way that People Magazine can publish that, if it, if, if it has the authorization of either party, either the one who sent it or the one who received it, if they don't have that authorization and they publish the contents of a letter, they're committing a crime. And the five friends uh, who claimed, who gave that information without authorization are also guilty of of um, fel that felony crime, fe federal crime of opening uh, letters or disclosing, because there's only one way for you to know the contents of a letter, two ways. Either you open it or somebody who wrote it or who, who received it um, tells you the contents of, those, of the letters. Yet Mr. Markle didn't do any of those. He didn't go to, he didn't go to, he didn't go to People Magazine, page six, the Inquirer. And the thing is that he could have easily, he could have easily gone to Inquirer, the Globe, all of those people, they would have paid him good money to publish the entire letter, even because it's his letter. Um, and yet he didn't do that. He chose Daily Mail in the UK. You, you, you know what I mean? It makes no sense at all. So from what he told me, from what he, after reading the situation, and I kind of agree with him, is that there is some collusion between Mr. Markle and Mega Markle, because it's clear that he, they don't want to sue any American magazines of, or newspapers, because it's not in Megan's best interest, because she's trying to conquer the U.S. And not only that, um, she would lose. She would definitely lose. Now, if Mr. Markle had gone to the police to report the crime, that he, the contents of his letters are being published without his consent and, and the cl claim damages and stuff like that, the police would have had to investigate and the police would have had to ask People Magazine if they got consent, consent sorry, from either party. Because you see, and then it would have been exposed that either Meghan Markle or Mr. Markle gave authorization to the friends and to People Magazine to publish that letter. 
So either Mr. Markle or Meghan Markle would have been exposed. But for some reason, Mr. Markle and Meghan Markle are both aiming only at the UK to destroy the UK, to cause as much damage to the UK. Because Meghan Markle is suing only UK newspapers, in spite of the fact that People Magazine and other newspapers in the United States are trashing her. Does that make any sense to you? Please let me know what you think. Because he told me that is the correct procedure. The correct procedure is to go to the police, to contact People Magazine, and sue People Magazine and their five friends. Because this is a serious thing that, you, that they went and published in a, ve in a very public forum or platform, contents of two private letters. Now, Meghan Markle is not smart. She's very stupid. Um, she thought that Harry was going to be her key to walk into Hollywood and oh, sesa, open Sesame, all the doors would be open. And that is not the case. You know, she thought that she would only have to brand Harry around and everything would be open for her. But that's not the case. Apparently, the appeal is going through in November for the letter in the UK. Because um, she's claiming copyright. Now, from what I understand, I don't know about much of the UK, but to tell you the truth, but I did talk to a friend of mine who was a solicitor in the UK, and she says that copyright was actually infringement. It was done mostly for piracy, you know, when people are trading or making money of things. In this case, for example, People Magazine made a lot of money out of publishing that article. And the title that they published it is The Truth About Meghan Markle's uh, Letters, or whatever it was. So it's not, this is what the five friends said. This is the truth about the letter. Um, so if anybody committed copyright infringement, it is People Magazine. And yet they're not being sued. In regards to Carolyn Durant, because for some reason, everybody's so focused on Omid Scooby, Carolyn Duran is the main author, is, is the, the principal author of, of Finding Freedom. Why isn't Megan suing her, sending her a letter of cease and desist through shillings? Carolyn Duran lives in the U.S. and she works for Oprah. So why aren't they doing that? I really do think it's a way of making money. Clearly, Omid Scooby is not in the outs with Meghan Markle. He, uh, you know, people are putting that out. No, he's not. As I said in my other video, the minute he gets an email or a letter from Shillings telling him to cease and desist, then I'll believe it. In the meantime, nothing is happening. I wanted to bring that up because I was really confused. So do you think that Mr. Markle and Meghan Markle are in on it? Because it makes no sense at all. And another thing, he could have sold the letter for a lot of, the whole letter, because he keeps hinting that, oh, that letter has, uh, it's really bad for her. Then publish the bloody thing. It's just like Prince Harry, you know, when he sat at Oprah interview, and he said, and when Oprah asked you, who was the one who made the racist comment? And, and remember what Prince Harry says? That I'll never tell. And now we're getting all these articles about oh now harry's gonna name the racist royal the racist royal is called harry windsor that's who the racist royal is and they're only going back to that because everything else is failing that's the only way to keep themselves in the news what else is there to keep in the news for them nothing because they have nothing more to offer and remember i told you that harry's claims are going to get more outlandish his lies are going to get bigger more ridiculous I wanted to bring up a point, a couple of points here because I got a lot of flack every time I talk about Prince Charles. I am not a fan of Prince Charles for very obvious reasons and neither Camila. I really love according to Taz. In the last video she did, she's saying that Camila had every right to defend her husband, you know, her marriage. I agree. So did Princess Diana. And she was fighting for her home for the father of her two children, for her own marriage. People want to excuse Camilla's behavior. Why? This woman has never apologized once about her part in this. Now, also people have told me that, oh, Camilla, you know, they loved each other. No, no, no. Camilla did not want to marry Prince Charles. She was deeply in love with Andrew Parker Bowles. She stalked him. I mean, this woman did everything in her power to marry him.
She didn't want to marry Prince Charles. That's why they didn't get married. It's not, it has nothing to do with the queen mother or the, or the queen or that Prince Charles had to do something. If he had had balls, he would have said, you know what? I want to marry this woman. First of all, Camila came from a very good family. So her family or not being from the good background, didn't that, that is not the case. Okay. Um, simply Camila didn't want to marry him and she was using him to make Andrew Parker Bowles jealous. That's it. But she was deeply in love with Andrew Parker Bowles. It has nothing to do that Prince Charles, they stopped him from marrying her. That's bullshit. Absolute bullshit. And then Camilla liked the, being the mistress. She even brags about her grand, one of her relatives was the mistress of a king or something like that. So no, I don't agree that Camilla is an honorable person. They say, oh, she's doing this great work with, um, with violence, home, domestic violence. She terrorized and bullied a very young, Lady Diana, Princess Diana, who had postpartum depression, they they led her to to have eating disorders. Another thing, and, and you know what? And I do see the connection with Prince Charles and Soho House. You know that Prince Charles opened Soho House, uh, and it's even in the articles that it says that not ever. And he's very good friends with Nick Jones, who's the actual owner of the entire Soho uh, houses all over the world of the, you know, of the corporation. He's extremely good friends with him to the point that he opened the, his nightclub. And even in the article says, you know, not everybody can brag about having the Prince of Wales, you know, cut the ribbon and open the, a nightclub. And he did that because he's very good friends with him. So there is a connection and people get really angry when I point things out. Now, I don't believe that the royal family was being racist so they killed Princess Diana because she was with Dodi because he, she was with ha Dr. Hasnat Khan for two years. And, I mean, he was a serious relationship. She, she flew to Pakistan to meet his family. I mean, they were talking marriage here. If they wanted to kill her because she was dating a Muslim and she was going to marry a Muslim, it would have been done with, those, with Dr. Hasnat Khan because she was with him a lot longer. And Palace knew that this was a serious relationship. So that, that's what I believe, though. You know what I mean? So when people tell me that I am being hard on Prince Charles for pointing out the facts that he's a hypocrite in regards to the environment, you know, that he talks about everybody saving the environment while he's fighting to have his, his, his states exempt from upgrading to a proper energy system, which is really friendly to the environment because his states are large and they cause a lot of damage, damage to the environment with the current energy system he has in place so when he does that it's just like harry being a hypocrite now regarding to to Meghan markle i was also wondering because many of you have said i posted a video about her and and she's talking about at 17 because in 1999 she's supposed to be 17 right she's getting ready to go to college and she shows up and she shows the car and the license plate and she says that the license plate, she says that it, it, that her ex-boyfriend gave it to her. First of all, she, people said that that's the license plate that, that she got. No, it's the car with the license plate that she got. She didn't, she never had a job at, by the age of 17 because her father had always paid for everything in her life. Doria didn't give her the car. Mr. Markle did not give her the car. She did not work at all. So she got the car from her boyfriend. Okay, so I'll, I mean, where else is she going to get the car? If she doesn't have a job, she doesn't have money. Her father didn't give it to her. Her friends certainly didn't give it to her. So she got it from a boyfriend. So at 17 years old, she gets men to give her cars. But Meghan Markle is not a smart woman. And the only reason why I talk about her is because she's still using the titles. And the titles rep uh, are part of an institution that represents me, a Canadian. So it's like having... a uh, the most crooked people abused the institution that's supposed to help me and represent me proudly. How, and I don't want that if she wants, if she wants to, and, and these people already quit and yet the Royal family still have them on their website, still have them on their website. Uh, please let me know what you think about the letter thing that I, that I told you about, because it does not make sense to me. It doesn't make sense to me. And then my friend who's a litigator said, the only reason why they would do that is if they're planning on, on conning Daily Mail and get money from them. And clearly they want to stay out of suing any papers in the, in the United States because they want to get money from the UK. So it's Meghan Markle and Mr. Markle together. 
trying to, you know. And also another thing, why didn't Mr. Markle sue the pap who took the pictures? Why didn't Megan sue that pap? You know, Megan hasn't sued the pap that took the pictures of her walking with Archie. None of those paps have been sued. And, and this pap is the one who basically set him up so he could be sued for fraud because he presented a fraudulent, he tricked Mr. Markle. It is fraud and he made money out of it. Nothing is happening. So for those who say that Meghan Markle is smart, she's not smart. But the thing is, the plan has backfired. Supposedly in November, they're going to go to the, to the courts to hear the appeal. And this, that's when we all will know. And the sad part is that Meghan Markle and Harry are being given a platform by Oprah because they're still backed by them. You know, Oprah, it, unless it's a Harvey Weinstein thing or, you know, that, that is so exposed. But they are exposed. Harry is a liar. Harry is a complete liar. So, and so is Megan. She's not a good liar she, because her lies are so easily prove, proven to be lies. I mean, people keep talking about having 18 lies in, in, in an Oprah interview. It's more than that. It's more than, it's like 22, 23 lies provable. You know, when she said that nobody helped her with, uh, with, uh, train her, she had, Aunt, Miss, the queen gave her Angela Kelly and Miss, Mrs. Hussey, their two private, most senior um, staff of hers to train her for almost six months. And even in the Finding Freedom novel, fantasy novel, it says that Meghan Markle was walking the halls of Buckingham Palace or Kensington Palace or the cottage or whatever the hell she was with books, you know, that she was given to, to read and understand everything. So that's another lie. That's another lie right there, which is very provable. So Meghan Markle is not a good liar. But let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about the whole thing. And please like, subscribe, and share. That really helps, okay, to keep going. So, no, um, let me know what you think. I'm curious. <laughs>